All right guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have a pretty cool house for you. Really, really interesting. It sold recently for close to $3 million. Uh, apparently sold to a developer from what I'm hearing. And uh, at that point, the heritage status was removed from the location. And so this building is no longer protected. It's unfortunate because that's usually a sign that the owner wants to, to demolish it. They'll be ashamed to see this one go. All right, so let's explore this static space. Like glass windows there just beautiful craftsmanship and this this is the fridge guys but whoever lived here last definitely lived here for a while love that tile work yeah so this place is incredible guys still has power apparently So I'm guessing this place is sitting, awaiting demolition, but only time will tell about this one. Beautiful leg glass windows there. That looks like the Fleur de Lis. What are these beautiful windows, doors? Everything in here is top notch, high quality. Wow. Amazing soap still left in the uh, in the holder there. Check out this staircase, guys. That is amazing. Just beautiful craftsmanship. George's house was built in 1932 in the Neo-Tudor style. All right. Well, what's in this one? This is probably just a cupboard, but. Yeah, just a cupboard. Look at these windows, guys. Absolutely incredible. Just beautiful. Wow. Every room has one of these glass doors. Boy. Really hope this one doesn't get demolished. It is amazing. Look at that ceiling. Unbelievable. All right, head back through here into the kitchen. What's in here? Oh, that leads to the room oh, we were just in. <laughs> Check out this kitchen, guys. This is incredible. That blue carpeting. Wow. The little eating area here. Kitchen table. All built in like that. Amazing.
check out this this range. This one's old, eh? Wow, it's beautiful. Look at these coils. There's the coil part is so thick. Usually it's a lot thinner than that. That is unbelievable. It's a Frigidaire. I mean, I must. It must still work, right? That's amazing. Just incredible. And this, this is the fridge, guys. Wow. That is incredible. I have never before seen a fridge like that. Unbelievable. That is crazy. Wow. Here's the, uh, the temperature control for it. Wow. That's unbelievable. So this must be the freezer or something. I don't know. Maybe that's for ice or something. Wow. It's a small fridge though. Can't imagine storing all the food you need in there. Wow. This place is incredible. The building is a two-story arts and crafts style home and is constructed with materials such as carved stone, cast stone, textured stucco, slate and copper. Not sure what the deal is with that. That's a little weird. Another small room out back here. Got some garbage stored here. Wow. Let's see if there's anything in this box. I doubt it, but yeah, nothing in there. It also has a high hipped roof with multicolored slate tiles. The front entrance has a paneled wood door and a decorative cast stone surround. Let's go check out the basement. A two-story octagonal bay with a crenellated parapet and open porch on the side of the house with a roof supported by stone pillars. Wow. Cobwebs in here. Wow. Unbelievable. I somewhat expected to see a uh, Like a stone foundation or something. Maybe it used to have one, I don't know. Even the basement windows are incredible. Oh wow. Welding mask. Beautiful bricks down here. Wow. Really nice brickwork on this house. Oh geez, and look at this door. That's really cool. And this is just the furnace room. All right, so I'll head back upstairs. This is a little weird guys, there's a sink here. So it's sort of a bathroom, but not really. Don't know what's up with that. But then there's a stairway right here. It's weird.
set up this stairway here. So this is likely, this likely would have been the servant stairs, maybe to a completely separate part of the house. Yeah, so this area is completely different from the rest of the house. Doesn't lead to the upstairs. The other side, got a nice simple bed here. A really old mattress. Wow. Duchess spring filled mattress. That's crazy. All right, no bathroom up here. The exterior of the home is quite impressive, but to be honest, I think the inside is what really made an impression on me. All right, let's, uh, oh, let's go check out this uh, front entryway and then we'll head upstairs, guys. Get a better look at this. Really nice tiled floor there. Really nice front door as well. I think this one's a closet. Yep. With some drapes it looks like in there. All right, let's head upstairs. The home was meticulously taken care of over the years and it showed with many of the original design features remaining. All of the original hardwood floors were still intact and the exterior windows were all lead glass. All of the interior doors had beveled leaded glass windows, some of which were more decorative than others. There's a view from up here. Absolutely incredible. There are many more features to this home, but I will let the video speak to these aspects. Currently the building does not have a heritage designation and has been sitting vacant for a number of years now. Although historical protection has not been ruled out by the city at this point in time. Just beautiful woodwork everywhere in this house. Nice built-in cabinetry there. From what I have read, the owners wanted to subdivide the property into three lots and build at least two homes on the new pieces of land. Got a closet with a secret, secret door, eh? Yeah, it just looks like it's in there too. Uh, attic slash storage space. After selling for nearly $3 million a number of years ago, the property has since been listed a few times for about half the price without buyer interest. Really nice room here. This was likely the master bedroom. But the uh, beautiful lead windows, are they're everywhere in this house. Someone really loved this house and obviously took good care of it because you don't see this this sort of craftsmanship very often. Oh, that's turquoise. Wow. Very turquoise. Check out the bathroom here. Really nice fixtures there. And the tile work goes almost throughout the whole bathroom. That's a bathroom cabinet. Love that tile work. A heritage designation for this home would be great and everything, but that wouldn't stop the owners from completely gutting the inside and leaving the house as a shell of its former self. <laughs> There's more to this house. Oh my gosh, that's a laundry chute. Wow. Yep, definitely a laundry chute. Personally, I would like to see this building completely preserved by turning it into a museum, but I highly doubt that that would ever happen. 
Let me know your thoughts on this house down in the comments below. Yeah, so this would have just been storage space in the attic. Doesn't like it look like it was used as living space at all. Wow. That is some really old insulation. Wow. That is unbelievable. Huh. Crazy. Alright guys, figured this would be a great place to end off the video. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Absolutely incredible house. The, uh, the architecture in here is just, just incredible. And I mean, I can't believe the stove, this, this range here, and the fridge. I mean, that is just, that's unbelievable. Never seen anything like that before in my life. So, really enjoyable explorer. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next Static Space.